Hey guys, what's up? I miss you a whole bunch and I hope that we all get to come back uh, to church soon and be together. Um, I hope you guys had a good spring break and a good Easter. Um, let me know uh, what your favorite activity has been so far um, in quarantine while we're all stuck at home and uh, let me know what Jesus has been teaching you guys. I hope that uh, you're using this time to read your Bible a little bit more and pray a little bit more and spend some more time uh, with God. I'm going to be getting on here a couple of times a week and um, just sharing some Bible verses and stories and different things like that um, that God has laid on my heart so that I can keep talking to you guys because I miss you a bunch. Okay, so today I decided to tell you guys a story, and I hope you're down for that because it doesn't really matter. I'm telling it anyways. Okay, so our story is about a king, and he lived a really, really long time ago, and his name was King Greedy Wants a Lot. Now, let's pause for a second, and let's talk about the word greedy or greed so do any of you guys know what greed is greed is when you want more and more of something so like if someone gave you four chicken nuggets maybe a greedy person would not be grateful for the four chicken nuggets and get upset that they didn't have six a greedy person always wants more they want what other people have nothing is ever enough for a greedy person Okay, so keep that in mind. King Greedy, that's what we're gonna call him for short because King Greedy wants a lot, that's kind of a mouthful. So King Greedy had a bunch of stuff. Like he was a super rich king. He had tons and tons of gardens with tons and tons of flowers. And he had this huge in-ground swimming pool with this big diving board. He had a little diving board and he had a huge high dive, right? This king, he had almost everything you could think of. And one day, he was walking through his garden when he heard a voice. And he turned around, but nobody was there. And so he kept walking and thought maybe it was just his imagination. And uh, he heard the voice again. And he heard it again. So he decided to follow it. And he followed it all through the garden and he was running after it and chasing after it. And finally, he found something and it was on one of his flowers, on one of his roses. And so he picked it up and it was a little, little tiny person. Well, that's what it looked like anyways. And the person was talking to the king and he said that I will grant you three wishes. And the king, he knew exactly what his first wish was going to be. He lived right by a lake, and he always wanted to have this huge boat where he could throw parties and, like, do all kinds of things, but he didn't have one. So he said, okay, my first wish is for a boat. And so um, the little magic man snapped his fingers, and boom, there was a huge boat for the king on the lake. This boat had slides into the waters. It was one of those, like, houseboat things where you can stay the night in the boat. Super cool. So he got the boat, and for his second wish, he was like, hmm, what do I need? Uh, let's see, because he already had a bunch of stuff. He said, I want the biggest trampoline ever and he said and I want you to put it in the ground and he said and I don't just want one trampoline but I want to have like a trampoline park in my house so I want trampolines on the walls on the floors and I want an obstacle course I want the whole thing in my house or in my castle and so the little magic man snapped his fingers and the trampoline park was in his castle and he said okay be careful you only have one wish left and the king he thought really really hard about it and uh he said well maybe i want a plane and he was like no maybe i want a rocket then i could go to the moon he was like no it, it's not enough it's not big enough and he had an idea he said if only i had a ton, a ton, a ton, like all the money in the world. If only I had all the money in the world, I could just buy whatever I wanted and I wouldn't have to make any more wishes. 
And so the king decided what his third and final wish would be. He wished that